Hey guys, Paul with Guns.com here, and I have Carl's rifle from the movie Die Hard. We are both professional. Not really though, because um, this is actually a Steyr AUG A3M1, which is a newer variation. Um, but it has a lot of the same features, a lot of the same looks, and it's pretty iconic. And the thing that I think stands out is despite the age of this thing, uh, it's still kind of space age looking. Uh, I was super excited to get it out of the guns.com vault uh, to give it a test. Uh, it was a used uh, AUG, and the advantage of that, I will say, is it doesn't take static mags, but it came with a pile of mags already. So that uh, was just like an extra birthday present for me because we loaded up like 15 mags and like hit the range with this a couple of times. Um, the gun is clear, also fun. Basically can HK slack it, slap it when you uh, once in the bolt home. There is an actual bolt release back here if you lock open uh, on the last round with the mag. Uh, this one came with some mag pull pop-up sights on it. It's not a very long sight radius. One of the, thing about, the things about the A3s, um, is they moved into the Picatinny instead of like that fixed mount rail optic system that was on the original ones. Another thing of note on these AUGs, obviously this is a bullpup, so it loads from back here. You have your magazine release back here. And as you can see, you have your ejection port here, but on the A3, uh, you also have an ejection port here. So you can make this a left-handed gun. If you've ever fired a bullpup, um, you'll know why you would want to switch. Um, because if you were a lefty shooting this, right now it's set up for right-hand ejection, which is to say it doesn't fly into my face. So if you like your teeth um, and your face in general, that's an important thing. All it takes is just take out the bolt, pop out the head of the bolt, put in a different bolt head, and then you can swap this piece over the other side as the cover. Uh, there's other, you can also have additions, things like brass deflectors and stuff like that. This one didn't have a brass deflector when it came in, but interestingly, the ejection pattern on it was incredibly predictable. Um, I was out there shooting a bunch of guns on a couple of different range trips, and the Steyr AUG, man, you could always tell when you were shooting, because the pile of brass would be within like three feet of each other. Just like all the ammo you've been shooting all day would just be like right there. Until we started to run and gun, uh, then it started to move around a little bit. I can say so far, we're 500 rounds in, I'm not really concerned about running it too far because it's a battle-proven gun. Uh, the Steyr AUGs have been around for a while and they're known for reliability. Part of that reliability comes from the operating system itself. Uh, this is a short stroke gas piston system and uh, because it was designed for hard use, it also is adjustable up front. So as it follows and gets dirty, conditions are nasty, you can up that gas a little bit and just power through it. It's not necessarily how you want to run the gun normally, but if you're uh, needing to do that because you've fired so much, that might actually be like a life-saving feature. Another one, you can just pop this barrel right off. Great for maintenance, barrel swaps. Uh, these actually did come with different length barrels as well. Um, so like I said, this is a gun that was designed to really meet the Austrian military's needs. And even today, I mean, decades, decades later, it is still a sweet looking gun. The safety is incredibly simple. Um, it's just a two position block safety. It's actually just a big square, which is not my favorite. Didn't really notice it on the range, it was fine. Uh, plenty of Picatinny for most needs. If you're the kind of person who wants to attach a bunch of gizmos, these really aren't it. And as, as you'll notice though, there's not a lot of space anyways. This is a bullpup coming in at 28.15 inches. Um, but that doesn't make it an SBR because this barrel is a 16.375 inch barrel. Uh, and well, with the muzzle device attached, it's actually 18.375 inches. Uh, so if you're used to shooting regular rifles, one of the things to note about that uh, is, especially if you start putting an optic on here, because this is all set up with rails, you do a lighter laser here, which basically meets the general needs of like a military style, um, a uh, mounting system or uh, a you know, home defense mounting system, but you're not going to get a ton of extra space up here. But knowing that, you have a vertical foregrip, so built into the gun. So if you wanted to actually shoot it like this, still protect your hand from a hot barrel, you could do that. Uh, I did find actually that it was super useful to have that vertical foregrip, especially when we were doing things like barrier drills. Uh, the gun is short enough that shouldered length of pull is still <laughs> amazingly like 15 and a half inches. 
uh, but you're coming in at a package that you can really be behind a barricade and maneuver through. Caveat to that is most shooters are used to kind of an AR style platform. You're going to have a longer uh, you know, barrel and rail, and so you can kind of get that through the hole uh, of a barricade you know, at various angles kind of intuitively. One thing that's known about bull pups, kind of a common issue, is people forget how short they are. So you want to be careful and know, you know that the barrel, that what you're looking at through a scope, <laughs> the barrel isn't necessarily looking at the thing below it, like a wall. Um, not a big deal, easy enough to get around. Uh, other thing that uh, is interesting about the whole uh, setup is because this is a, a bull pup, you do get like a nine and a half pound trigger. And it's, yeah, it's kind of like a squishy, blocky trigger. It's fine. I did barrier drills on this and it was, you know, we we're at 50 yards, uh, various shooting positions, unconventional shooting positions, a little bit of movement and shooting, um, static shooting as fast as we can. I'll be honest, as a guy who shoots a lot of ARs or AK platforms, shooting a bullpup as fast as you can was a little bit new to me, uh, but you could definitely get really good with it. Um, it fires fine. The trigger just isn't going to be able to be like a Geisley. Um, it's not really in the cards, unfortunately, just because that trigger is going to have to come all the way back to this action. So that refinement isn't, there's not a lot of room for it. That being said, it worked. I mean, it worked great. Uh, shooting behind barricades, shooting offhand uh, at targets. We were hitting stuff. Optics help a ton with that. And the other thing that's interesting in general is they were ahead of their time, the Australians, when they came up with the idea of let's just start using optics. And the gun was built around the idea that they would use optics. So there is one thing that, uh, and this is specific to the A3M1s, uh, not all Steyr Augs are going to have this left and right hand ejection system. And the one disadvantage can be that I'm a righty, so I put my cheek in here, and if I'm aggressive with that, it hasn't happened to me personally, but I have seen it happen, you can slide this a little bit too far. Uh, the one time I saw that happen, it was slid forward, a like cheek of the shooter, um, and it's held in, there's like a, a, a shim on the back end of that that's holding it in position. There might be aftermarket solutions that are even better than this, I'm sure there are. But when that happened, this came off, and that shim actually kind of, got into the bolt area a little bit. What amazed me was what the shooter was saying afterwards was they didn't notice that right away because the gun continued to cycle, um, which is pretty impressive uh, to cycle with an actual chunk of metal inside of the action uh, that isn't ammo. Um, so like I said, robust system. It's been a lot of fun to take out and shoot. Uh, we're at around that 500 round mark right now with it. And I can say that like this is, I don't know, I might have the bullpup bug right now because um, I really don't want to send this one back, uh, especially because it came with like 15 mags, um, and I've been shooting it, and it's it was super easy uh, to zero as well. Uh, the short length of it almost makes you feel like it's not going to be a good distance shooter. Um, I should I zeroed this in like two minutes at 100 yards. I mean, like it was easy. It was just shoot, 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 scope, all right, move, <laughs> like. And it was on target, stood up, started shooting man sized target at 200 yards just off of the three power. And I would call that uh, very much an effective engagement system on a platform so tiny. It feels very wieldy as well because all that weight, I mean, it just sits in your hand like that. So, and the safety is blocky, almost pointy. I guess that might be a complaint that some people might have. Once you get a little bit of you know, callus on your hands, it's not too bad, but it's a little bit sharp edged jaggy, unrefined. But overall, um, the whole system is super easy to take down, super easy to clean. Cleaning it's not really that much of a problem either because the fact that it is a short stroke gas piston system, it's not really that dirty. We're kind of used to that direct impingement AR system, a lot of us anyways, uh, which means that when we go to the range a couple of times, we're also expecting a good long Saturday cleaning a gun. Cleaning this thing took me a couple minutes paper towel, CLP, you know, wipe, wipe, basically done. Baby wipes, awesome as well to do that um, if you're just trying to clean quickly. My name's Paul Peterson. Again, this is my review of the Steyr Aug A3M1. A super cool throwback, yet somehow still futuristic uh, bullpup rifle. 
uh, that I do not want to send back to the guns.com vault. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have an AUG, drop us a comment on down below or let us know how, what you thought of this review. We take that feedback, we try and bring it into our other videos as we make more of these, and we will be making more of these for you in the future. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.